We're going to talk about a rap battle in the NBA. You got one generation, Shaquille O'Neal, long ago. Obviously, Shaq D's one of the best players of all time. Four-time NBA champion. Battling Damian Lillard, who goes by the name of Dame Dollar, the great point guard for the Portland Trailblazers. And, and Rob, let me set the tone. Here, here's what happened. We know Damian Lillard drops, you know, albums. I don't know how many now, three or four. He just dropped one about a month or two ago. And he gets love, like not only from basketball fans, but MCs, real MCs. They know he's got skills. He's he's respected as a rapper, not just a basketball player who raps, but as a legitimate MC. And he was on the Joe Budden podcast recently. Joe Budden, of course, the uh, the the famous hip hop MC from years ago. And Budden asked him if he was better than Shaq as a rapper. Uh oh. Uh-oh. And Lillard, Lillard said he was. He and he kind of he basically was like, "Look, Shaq was Shaq." So everybody loved him, of course, because he was big, goofy Shaq, and you know he's fun. And how can you not like Shaq? What was and, Shaq on the Foo Snickens? You remember that? Well, he, oh, he was. He had a bunch of guests. Right? Foo Snickens, Def Jeff. You didn't know Feist I knew that. I pulled that out, Chris. Chris. You didn't know I, I knew that. I know you just Googled that. Man. I didn't Google it. <laughs> now, first of all, you can't Google something you can't spell. So Foo Snickens, <laughs> right, right. I couldn't Google. <laughs> right? Give me that. You're right. I'll give you that. I'll give you Because Shaq, when Shaq was rapping around 93, 94, you were still in your heyday. I was. I was still you out were. there. I was so perusing the clubs. In the clubs. Yeah, right. dancing to Shaq. Trying to trick some women to go home with me. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. It, it didn't work that often, but I tried. <laughs> hey. Anyway, after Dame says that, Shaq catches wind of it. And Shaq does a diss track on Dame Dollar. And here it is. Here's th- uh, 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 ex- an excerpt from it. Take your time to respond or it's so hurry. you never be Westbrook, never be Steph Curry. Next time you see me, Damon, dress me as the emperor. Pull your little out, check your little temperature. I like your little game. Yes, I really adore you. Stop smoking Portland weed. They really good for you. You was a little dirty booty boy up in diapers. My garage was filled with cautious business, bikes and vipers. I was caught side watching Hulk and Roddy Piper. I was playing with these guys. He was the real sniper. I was in the studio with Nah, Big and Jigga. I was even up and open, bumping too short. I was on job with your private E40 from the same place as Red Man, Laura Hill and Naughty. Yo. That's not bad. I I'm like gonna, that. Hey, Shaq came legit. Wow. He came, and he even hit him with some Oakland stuff, which is where Dame is from. Too short, E40. All, I mean, Shaq, Shaq came correct. I give Shaq credit definitely on that. So, of course, Dame Dollar, who remember, he battled with Marvin Bagley, the uh, now he's a second-year player with the Sacramento Kings who likes to rap. And he's, he's not bad, Marvin Bagley. Uh, so they had a battle. Everybody pretty much consensus that Dame took him out uh, a few months ago. And so he wasn't going to take this line down. So, of course, today he dropped something he called Rain, Rain, Go Away. Rain, R-E-I-G-N. Rain, rain, go away. Here it is. No, you see my pockets deep, so you flexing ain't really your thing, bro. We both could be working at Kinko's and Kobe when you them rings don't owe. Nursery rhymes spitting, <laughs> small cars sitting, oh. Icy hot poster boy, TNT snitching you, big man hating. Uh, mad at my existence, had a song with bad boy. No Jordan to the piston, still getting to the chicken. This ain't nothing new to me. I always been a chosen one. Nothing you could do with me. This what rich looked like before the dough and jewelry. I'm from where Tom Hanks from, but no time foolery. Do it for the fam. Ain't no magic, no Kazam. Ain't no flexing for the gram. I'm for real. <laughs> That's not bad either. <laughs> Dame is sweet. Dame both is... The, both were really good. Yeah, the both were good. And, and, and what do you think? What are your thoughts? I mean, you like... And this is different. Like, Bagley and Damian Lillard going at each other. You know, they're basically the same generation. I know Lillard's a veteran I was going to say, that was, the one, that was the one thing. I, I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. It just seemed like, Shaq, dude, you're, you're like older, retired. You're in a different place. Really? Do you know what I mean? Like, you're going, you're going down to the schoolyard to pick on the kids? <laughs> I mean, 
Take their There's lunch money. Of that. Chris, you remember think- when you were in school and they used to come take your lunch money to older kids and stuff? Do you remember that? No, I don't. <laughs> you know but I, mean? <laughs> I remember taking other kids' money. Oh, okay. Nah. <laughs> and you didn't step in? What kind of man are you? You're supposed to be a man of the cloth. You didn't intervene? I wasn't a man of the cloth back then. I was like seven years old, all right? Uh, man. <laughs> I was aspiring to be that. But, nah, I, I, but I feel that way on both sides, Rob, because- Okay, you can dish Shaq. Why, why are you going at the kids? You you know, like you said, you're you're an older generation. He, Lillard even mentioned that in a part we didn't hear where he said, you know, we could have done something together. You could have handed the torch, but you know, you're trying, you're jealous or whatever. Lillard, though, you also can say, why are you going at the old man? You know what I mean? I, I guess he had to because Shaq really did diss him. But you you know, you look at the old guy going at the youngins. And you got the youngins going at the old legend. So neither side can really brag about that. But I'll say this. And I really have a lot of respect, like a lot of people for Dame as a rapper. And I do agree with him that he is a better MC in the technical sense than Shaq. Like he's got better wordplay. You know, he he's the dope. You know, Wordsmith puts him puts his lyrics together, nice flow, all that. But as much as I liked his last album, Shaq, if you go back to when Shaq dropped those albums, Shaq's albums went platinum. Shaq made better songs because his production, his beats were better. His beats at that time were dope. He has some of the dopest beats out there, and that's a big part of why his songs went platinum. And he did he did collaborations. He had Keith Murray, who was hot back then, Fife Dog, Def Jeff, Foo Schnickens, as you mentioned. Like, he did a lot of collaborations. He had a lot of guest rappers on his albums. And whoever, I can't even remember who was doing his production back then, but it was as hot as any production out there. And so, yeah, he's his wordplay wasn't. I I'll compare it to this, Rob. Okay, it's like you can't compare a Fifty Cent to a Talib Kweli as far as just rapping ability or a Nas. You know, they they just their wordplay was far superior. Fifty Cent was pretty basic rapper, but he made great songs. He get a hook that is catchy. His beats that's, were right. crazy. That, you that know, people that in could, the club. People yeah, could, I mean, in the club, I was going right. to say, that's, that's as important as anything, having that hook yep. that people yep. just can't let go. And in the club, when it comes on, all the women jump up. And yep. You know what I mean? Yep. And if you go, I'm telling people, listeners, go to iTunes, because you've probably forgotten, and check out like Shaq's Best Of album. And listen, the beats, and he can rap. He was a good rapper. Again, not quite what Dame Lillard is, but a good rapper. But his beats were crazy back then. And so I think both of them got room to brag. I, look, I think the good news is that I don't think either one of them is taking this too seriously. No, like if, I'm, I'm glad sure about when they that. see each other, it's going to be love. You know, they'll probably hug and laugh about it uh, and then go at it on track. It might not be over. Shaq may come back at him. You think Shaq's going to make another one? I thought he's he, too busy making pizza and dough. <laughs> He might. I wouldn't be surprised, but uh, it, it's all in fun. But yeah, that's kind of my breakdown of it. I think both of them uh, have made their mark in hip hop in different ways. Well, let's see what you think about the rap battle. Eight seven seven ninety nine on Fox. Eight seven seven nine nine six sixty three sixty nine. What do you think about Dame Dollar and Shaq Diesel going at it? Or if you want to go here, who do you think is the best rapping athlete? Of all time, Chris Webber dropped an album. Kobe dropped an album. Uh, Allen Iverson dropped some bars. You can actually hear it on on YouTube. Uh, several other guys out there rapped. So, who do you think's been the best rapping athlete of all time? Eight seven seven ninety nine on Fox. Your turn to weigh in with Chris and Rob, the Odd Couple. All right, let's kick it off with Brian in L.A. You're on the Odd Couple, Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Brian? Hey, good afternoon, guys. Thanks for taking the call. Love you guys. Love the show. I'm going to make this very, very quick. Thank you. There is no way in the world Dame Lillard could even hold a candle to Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq, first of all, Shaq has plaques. Second of all, Shaq has done songs. You're not talking about as a basketball player. That's obvious. 
Of right. course, of so, course. I'm talking okay. about as a rapper. Okay. I mean, I want, and let me continue. Second of all, Shaq has songs with the Notorious B.I.G. Shaq has songs with Redman and Redman. Mm. Shaq did a song called My Biological Didn't Bother, where he was talking about his own dad didn't even want to worry about him being in his life. Shaq is a legend when it comes to hip-hop. He is one of the greatest NBA hip hop artist of all time. Dame Lillard could never even think about even getting close to Shaq. Shaq had that song with the Foo Snickers. Uh, during that time, that was off of the branch of the uh, leaders of the new school when Buster Rhymes was in a, was in a, was in a group with those guys. You had to really know your rhymes. You had to really rap. That was that was when Shaq really spit on that on, on, on that verse with the Foo Snickers, and he came off hard. That's when I realized, yo, Shaq can really rap, and th- there's just no way anybody with any hip hop knowledge of anything can even think about putting Dame Lillard in the same class with Shaq. It, 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 it's a no-brainer. All Ooh, right, my that's goodness. A, that's a good call. He had he had receipts. I didn't know, I mean, but here's, I didn't know Brian he, was the uh, rap critic for the L.A. Times. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, wow. He's right in that Shaq had big-time commercial success. And you heard who he rapped with. We mentioned some of them, but we didn't mention Biggie. You know, and right. guys, and, and, and Redman and all them. So that would be like Dame being, I mean, who are these young kids today? But Dame being with Jay-Z and stuff like that. Yep. You know what I mean? All right, let's and go to so, yeah. Kondwani in Atlanta. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up? Hey, what's going on, fellas? How y'all doing? What's up, man? We're doing good. great. Hey, good. I appreciate Hey, Brian is right. You know, I'm from, I'm living in Atlanta. I'm from Pasadena, California, man. So I'm West Coast all day. Um, Shaq and everything he said about Shaq, I believe 100%. However, in this day and age where the rappers are so pitiful and disgusting and garbage, to hear two dudes like Shaq and Dame just go head to head like they did, it was a beautiful thing. And I think that lyrically, Dame made me feel good. It was a fresh breath of air. And so on this one, I, I love Shaq. I mess with him all day. I'm a Laker fan to death, but uh, Dame got it to him. Hell well, wow. you would agree his wordplay is better, his flow. But you know, Shaq's, Shaq's nice too. His flow is a little more basic, like it was back then. Yeah, you know, that's appreciate just, that's the call. Just two different generations. Good call. Thank you, uh, Justin in Texas. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What you got, guys? 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 Everybody, th- these guys are right, but at the same time, this this is a draw. Oh no, draw! Come on, <laughs> I Justin. I want no. I want you to pick somebody. I fully expected Shaq to come with the Sugar Hill Gang sound, you know, the hibbity hibbity hop, but, <laughs> but he didn't. He didn't, to my surprise. He actually did his thing. He so you did. Got two you got two different eras here. You got the old school and the new school. And, and as the previous caller mentioned, Dame, he, he's, he's, holding, he's, he's doing much better than most rappers nowadays. Why is that? Why are the rappers not – people not, not feeling the rappers these days, Chris? What's going on? I mean, on? it's some of the – some of it's generational. I, I'm not feeling these dudes. The mumble rap and, and sing songy. I mean, I think it's garbage. But I, I'll, I'll readily admit, you know, we used to older have, folks thought our stuff was garbage. We used to have the bubble rap. Now they got the mumble rap, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. But Dame is, Dame is a, a, a backpacking MC. He's a lyricist. He's a, got wordplay and Shaq. Is a little more commercial, but Shaq's stuff is is good. All right, what about Mel in Ohio? You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What you got, Mel? So it's uh, it's Mo from Ohio, actually. Mo. Oh, What's Mo. Up, Mo. Okay, Mo. Sorry about that. No, it's all good. All good. So I'm gonna say both of them came came correct. I'm gonna have to say Shaq rode the beat much much better on that one. Mm. But uh, but an athlete that people sleep on. Uh, Roy Jones Jr., probably the best rapping athlete ever. Really? Really? Wow. Yeah. I heard one See, of the only, I songs. thought he was a defensive rapper, so it's not like he's not aggressive. <sighs> I apologize, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I can't go with Roy. I heard one song by Roy. It's I, I, I mean, it was Southern style, if you into that, although Mo's from Ohio. But I, uh, Roy was okay, but I wouldn't put him ahead of Dame. And even Shaq. I wouldn't put him ahead of Shaq. Demetrius in Dayton, Ohio. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Demetrius? Nothing much. Listen to you guys every night on my way home from work. Man, so, thank, thank you, you. We appreciate that. So, can I say my rapper and he's in the middle of both of them? 
and he had a short stint in the NBA, Mr. Master P. Put some respect on that man's name. <laughs> what do you mean he was in training I camp? He, he wasn't in the NBA. Like, and, and now, he never look, played in the league. And I've he did some... play in the league. He played for Toronto. He played for Charlotte, man. Put some respect on that I guy's don't name. Think he ever, did he ever sit on the bench during the game? I don't think. Hey, Lee, can you look that up? I know. I know he was in training camp. Did he play a game? I I don't don't remember playing a game. He never got in the game for sure. I look. I did a big story on Master P when I wrote for the New York Times. It was around uh, ninety nine, around around nineteen ninety nine, two thousand, when he was trying out for the CBA with hopes of getting to the NBA, and it was a legitimate story on him trying to be a basketball player. And he was a, a great player for the average person. He was not close to an NBA player. But he was a great, like, just the average dudes out there. He could hoop. But he wasn't on the NBA level. So it, it, they brought him in. Toronto, I remember they brought him in. But it was more as a gimmick. Uh, I don't think he ever sat on the bench in a real game. But he was on there for a, a cup of coffee and a sweet roll, as my partner Exactly. Hey, I just want to say this. My old... Uh Television mate, friend, Bernie Smilovitz, who's the uh, main sports anchor at Channel 4 in Detroit, WDIV. Yep. He loved the bubble rap line. He's driving, listening in Detroit. <laughs> Thank you, Bernie. You get the humor. Let's Yay. squeeze one more in. Can we do that? Let's do it. Let's do it. Joseph in Virginia, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What you got? Hey, fellas. How y'all doing? Uh, What's happening? I will say this. I, I can agree maybe Dame had a better flow, but let's get – to the subject. Chris, you a hip-hop head. Let's get to the subject of the matter. I mean, he said Kobe won Shaq three championships. I mean, 32 and 16, it right. doesn't sound like a now, it wasn't even, like wasn't it, championship for me. What was it, Rodney? I think it was 35 and 16 in those three finals that Shaq was that yeah, he, he, I, but it was two finals that he, he averaged 32 and 12. He averaged 32 he, and 15 and then 32 and 12. Yeah, he was phenomenal. Now, there's no doubt. You're right. Dame is just flat out wrong on that. That yeah, that Kobe all, got you those rings. No all right, thank you, Joseph. That. And it's th- that's a good point. Nobody had brought that up. That's a good point. Chris, three nothing. Uh, <laughs> Milwaukee. Your boy, man. You you your pick could be over quick. I know, big time. You, oh my. Goodness. It is early now. Don't get crazy. It's but three oh, Rob. Three nothing. Yeah, second inning. Wow. All right, we doing any more? Or we going to the to the break? Yeah, we're good. Let's do let's do right. the update. We got our man Charlie Cassidy. You know it's always fun when the former NFL GM joins the I couple. But first, let's bring in our man Ralph Irvin. Ralph, you want to weigh in quickly? I know you like hip hop. I'll just put it this way. I'm the hooper, hyper, protective vibe, hyper. When I'm out the hoop, and yo, you better. Uh, that's the foo snicker. That's Shaq in the foo snicker. Now that's that beat though. I'm telling you, man, Shaq made dope songs because the beats were fresh and he could rhyme. People forget you know, that he could spit out words. Yeah, he wasn't bad. I mean, he rode the beat. Look, like I said, and he wasn't totally basic. He was better than a lot of rappers. Yeah. He was good. He, he could flow on rhythm. Nah, he had different styles. <laughs> and uh, Shaq was legit. No, it's, I, I just thought that he, he came and he, and he just kind of said, yeah, okay, young buck. Please. Stop yeah, it. he it was just, a battle just, just of eras. It. He was old school. Dame's new school. That's what it was. That's it was what good. it was. That's, that's, and if you don't like the new stuff, you're not gonna like that. It's it's a different right. style. I come from an era of beats and rhymes. If it doesn't rhyme, it's not the same to me. But that's me. 